Hello. Today I am going to talk about some of the great new filters that Zoom's just come out with. It can give you a full facial makeover as I've done, or it can touch up your appearance. Let's take a look. Zoom is at it again, continually innovating as more and more people use the platform. I'm going to show you about some fun filters that could render this obsolete. I'm no makeover queen by any stretch of the imagination, but I do like to use lipstick to add a little contrast between my lips because, as you can see, it's pretty monochromatic there. But Zoom has added some filters that will allow me to do a quick makeover without touching the basket of lipstick. Let's see how that works. We go to the little up arrow next to stop video and we select choose video filter. Before I get going on this, I should let you know that before this can work, you need to have the most updated version of Zoom. And when you try to use these filters, you're going to have to download a file. After that, it's going to be as seamless as what I'm showing you. There are some fun filters you can put on so you make, make it look like you're on Instagram. But what I'm going to show you is Studio Effects. And I'll move this over so you can see me in the big screen. When we have Studio Effects, we can choose Eyebrows. And as you can see, they've added some eyebrows. And there are different shapes that you can choose, different colors. You could even go with blue eyebrows if that's what you want. But this is a nice filter to fill in those eyebrows. For mustache and beard, this isn't something I would ordinarily do, but gentlemen or people who like facial hair, you can play around with this. Again, shifting the opacity, choosing funny colors, and just going nuts with it. Pink beard, not my cup of tea, but this is the one I use most often is lip color. And when you choose it, the lip color pretty much stays where it's supposed to. You can deepen the tone, can change the tone. Ugh, I don't like that one. That one's all right. It's, it's a fun way to quickly add some contrast to your face when you're speaking. There is one drawback though, and I'll show you what it is. And don't judge, this is one of my favorite cups, so I had to re repair it. But watch what happens when I have some of this lovely tea. See the lips? The lips don't, uh, the AI can't track that you have something in front of your face. So I could do this and my lips go a little bit nuts. But for a quick touch of contrast, you can't beat Zoom filters. I suggest you upgrade to the latest version, download that little packet and start going to town on your virtual makeovers. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified of new content as it appears. You'll learn all about presentations, presentation design, and the latest presenting tech.